this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes at the site of a Trinity plan that we just built here on a large tract of land you can see the house down there there's another one for the books so while you're up here okay, look at our beautiful driveway they cut a nice straight line did a nice picture frame and got all the control joints in Beautiful driveway. Anyway, this was a very large lot, so we had to cut in trail. This is kind of where there's an original road. It was supposed to be the third phase of a development, but we went ahead and picked up the whole thing. Now, see how landscapers did? We're starting to get some grass coming here. We had just a huge storm last night, tornado warnings and downpour, but our landscaping looked like it held. It did wash some hay down here, but you still see some grass coming up and the matting we put in the uh, drainage culvert there held up so we're in pretty good shape i was kind of concerned as to what i'd see here but anyway this is the trinity plan now we we did have some some hay kind of wash out out front but we had just enormous wind it was insane there was a big roar woke me up in the middle of the night this is our driveway now they originally hadn't planned to do the driveway but they figured they might as well get it done while you know, while the crews were here because sometimes later never comes so anyway and if you can see all the water came down we had to make that riprap well there and send the drainage up underneath otherwise all that water would end up down at the house so we wanted to let the water follow its natural course before it all came down to the house anyway and you see this big driveway here now this house the trinity plan has got two garages and a dormer for the bonus room. So it was one for the toys, the hobby cars, if you have Corvettes or whatever, which a lot of people have down here. And then there's the one, the one on the right is gonna be for the actual cars. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. We did some really cool stuff. Now there's an entrance right into the laundry room. I'll show you that a little later. But we did, uh, I see there's uh, stained cedar shutters up here. Now we get stone accents on the front. We also did a stained cedar accent up top up in the tip of the gable there. Uh, the windows at that pattern is called Prairie. Prairie over one. And there's no grids in the bottom, that grid pattern. When we come up to the front, we got stone steps with, anytime we get over three steps, we gotta have railings. So that's a powder coated aluminum rail. Real nice detail. And there's a knotty pine ceiling of that light fixture. I got a beautiful light fixture with seated glass. Knotty pine stained roof, stained ceiling. And these beams, that product there looks like wood. It's called Miratech. Um, this is a board and bat siding, a vertical siding. And you look at those mahogany doors with the wrought iron details. And kind of the parallelogram arched glass. And that is called Flemish glass. It's obscured, so you can't see in. You can see light, but you can't see in. Anyway, let's go take a look inside. Well, inside. Now, with these videos, I sometimes feel like I'm repeating myself. So for those of you that have uh, seen a lot of my videos, you may want to turn the sound down and just see the tour of the house. So if you haven't, I'll explain what we did here. Anyway, this foyer, obviously, into the study, we got that really cool transom window to let more light in. Nice feature. This wainscoting is a craftsman style wainscoting. And we have that the shelf up here. We've got one by four and one by six trim. And then we put the receptacles down in the trim to keep them out of the way. Um, the crafts, traditional craftsman style trim on the door where it overhangs. Um, and look at that light fixture. I love that light fixture, but this in the Trinity plan, we got a two-story foyer. So you got your crown mold up there, and in the two-story foyer, you got that twin window, the fixed pane window up top, let in a lot of natural light. That's something we like a lot. Now, in the great room, got a cedar beam up there, and I love that cedar beam. That is just subtle, but it's it's there. Um, not too much. Anyway. We got a big old ceiling fan, and you can see onto the back deck there. 
fireplace, big stone fireplace for your focal point in the middle. Now I'll take a look around so you can kind of see this living area. You got a huge island here, okay? And you got kind of a dark ebony color island, white shaker cabinets. Um, this huge island, dining area over there, lots of space, you put a great big table there. Another, another light fixture. I think she really knocked it out of the park picking these light fixtures. And that goes out into your backyard. Now they've got a very nice wooded lot, lots of acreage. I did joke with them, if they don't feel like going to the grocery store, they can just look out back and shoot their dinner. Anyway, the granite and cooktop. Now I like a subtle backsplash. This one has an accent, but it's just kind of a clean line subway tile without a lot going on. So it kind of lets the, the beauty of that granite kind of pull itself out. Now they put a nice range hood up above. There's a microwave. You got a wall mount microwave. And they put two, gla two glass cabinets for accents here. Chrome. And look at the size in this kitchen. They've got lots of counter space over there. There they got their USB ports for charging their phones and lots of space over here. So a lot of great cabinet space here along with that fridge. Oh, they got a nice fridge here and a nice KitchenAid. Um, microwave is here in the island. Oven's there. And I see that's a stained, stained island and with a farm sink. That's it. And, and then, uh, said so this contrast with the white cabinets. But you look at that living area, you get a view all the way over to the front hall, fireplace, then over to your dining area. So you've got the open concept. Now, on this Trinity plan, as far as the other ones, they recessed that deck in just because there was so much space. Other people had a sunroom and they had the deck out further on the original Trinity plan. Anyhow, let's take a look at this back porch. And this back porch with these French doors is just kind of like an extension of this whole living area. So you can kind of see when you come in the front through the foyer, you get that great big foyer, and you get those doors open, you come right out to this great backyard. And a nice ample size sunroom. And the sunroom does have access to a sitting area out off the master suite and out here. And I got a nice slab for barbecuing and whatnot. Nice slab out there. So, the septic field back here, and that's, that's their backyard. There's a great wooded location here. And there's a septic tank. It had to pump up to the field. You got a septic tank and a pump tank. Long story, very long and involved. What well, we had to negotiate to get the septic done here. Anyway, and this is a number one red oak. I think that's a special walnut stain. If I, that's what it looks like. So anyway, that's the main living area. All right. Come over here. It's a really cool area. This is kind of almost like a mudroom area. As you said, we have two garages. So you have one garage entrance over there. Okay. You come in from this garage. And there's a bedroom over here. And look at this bedroom. Look at that window seat with that blue. That blue cushion. All right, and we did casement windows there. And look at that accent wall, that turquoise accent wall. I really like the way this room came out. And of course, walk-in closet off this bedroom. So this is one bedroom. All right, that stairs up to the bonus. And here's the second bedroom. This has three bedrooms and a bonus, which could be a bedroom. But this, look at this nice size bedroom. There's your closet. That looks out the front. This is what we call a drop zone, which has cubbies for shoes and shelves and a beadboard back and then put some hooks up there. They're nice. And this goes out to the other garage. So, we look at this garage. Okay, this is the garage for the cars. This is a garage, well, they're both for cars, but this is a main garage parking coming in and out. At least how, that's, my understanding is how they intend to use it. And this other garage, this is what we call the toy garage. So you got his and hers double car garages. Now this one has this great utility room. Yeah, look at all that storage tools and whatnot. And that's where their uh, hot water heater is. Tankless hot water. But the special features here is you got these Bilco doors to go out back lawnmowers and whatnot, 
And we've got a vaulted ceiling here. That ceiling. And we had to get a little creative with the garage. Look at that support there. We do a side, in, a side mounted garage door opener so that we get that high lift, but they can put a car lift here or they can put a double decker just to kind of lift for storage so they can store two cars right here. So if you're into hobby cars, this is a garage, it's a perfect garage. And we did brick steps going into the house on this one. All right. So those are the two garages. You got two garages and two bedrooms over here. Also got underneath the stairs, we did this cool little tucked away powder room. And once again, I just love the transition, the way that hardwood floor ties into that tile. And they picked a great pattern there. It's just a little powder room. Um, I have Delta Linden faucet. It's like a, a nice piece of granite in there. And globes with LED lights. Now this is the this is a full bath right near each other, but you have two bedrooms here that this is servicing. So this is really for the kids. They can have all their stuff in there and it can be tucked away and the guests can use the powder room so they're not sharing now. And the kids, you can have one kid in here and then his door. So it would be like a Jack and Jill in case somebody's on the commode or in the shower. All right, once again, it's a great tile color. The shower, instead of doing just a fiberglass tub surround, they did a white subway tile. Look at that. I think that came out really nice. I think a Friend Jeff over at the Tile Authority knocked it out of the park. So here we are. There's, they put up a shower curtain rod, a curved shower curtain rod, help keep the water in there. Of course, you know, it's a small window in the bath. Now, that countertop. All right, so those are, so you got two and a half baths down. Now look at this pantry. This pantry is to die for. Isn't that cool? How they did that, uh, Kind of that turquoise aqua color and this barn door on a track it says pantry anyway and they did one with melamine shelves in the pantry some nice features a little nicer than wire shelves of course you know once again there's a price tag now they had also another set of shelves here but they had some problems so they had to bring it back to the shop and repair it but anyway you're gonna have this really nice size pantry in here so that's it, basically it for the downstairs. And let's go take a look at the bonus room. And we did the finished, finished oak steps up to the bonus room, which is carpeted. Now you can see in the bonus room, we've got two, can light, two recessed can lights and a ceiling fan light. Up here we have a dark dormer. And we have some access for storage. That's the storage room in the attic. And this is bathroom up here. We got a half bath up here in the bonus room. So we got two fulls and two half baths in this home. And this is a dormer that we love to do off our bonus rooms to give much more natural light. And look at that view, you can see who's coming. A nice, really a nice feeling of being and setting out here in the woods. And of course, out the front, you can see two ways. Two ways out of the bonus room. So this makes this a fantastic space. And I'll take a look. And this is just plywood floor, storage area in the attic, above the garage, and they can always expand that if they want to put more plywood down. Now, the stairs, we kind of did a half rail here to give it more ornate and make the room feel bigger. Let's go take a look at the master suite, which is kind of one of the crowning jewels of this home. You got to see this bathroom. And I'll show you a couple things in the master suite here. One, the sitting area. We got a nice sitting area in here. This big sitting area, which leads out to your back porch. Once again, a view. So you can watch the deer and antelope play back there. And this is your master suite. Now, if you look up, look at the ceiling fan. It's a great ceiling fan. Crown mold, they got a double tray up there. Now, if you wonder what that is, full disclosure, 
There was a water issue coming out of the commode back there. Shouldn't have happened, but it did. But this is, they're currently uh, repairing the floor here. So blending in the stain on the floor. and waiting for that to dry. But what's really cool, this is where the bed goes. So we've got a window on each side of the bed. You know, you got your uh, outlets with the USB ports and you got a transom window up above. Um, up above, so that makes it really nice to get all that natural light up above the bed. That seemed to be a real popular feature. And that's where your TV goes. We also sometimes wall mount them, depending on what the customer likes. Now into the master suite. And she's struck again with her colored, colored barn door. Oh, let's take that closed. Take a look at that. Nice blue barn door, double barn door to get into the bathroom. I'll open that up. And this is a pretty spectacular bathroom, in my opinion. Yeah. So you went with a different color, but I still like the transition into that. That color tile works real well with the floor. There's a freestanding tub, Jacuzzi Fiori tub, with that light fixture. Let's get back and take a look at that. That light fixture really works. Anyway, there's your light fixture over top of your Jacuzzi Fiori tub, and you can see behind it's a shower. Now on the sides, you've got his and hers vanities. Great big mirrors. we got one over here, but this one has an extra surface. On the drawer sitting area, you know, knee space. You have a chair tucked in there. Have that great big vanity there. And look at that uh, Jacuzzi Fiore freestanding tub. And you get the wand and the floor mounted fixture. You can see that. Floor mounted fixture for that. Now look at the master shower. I don't know about you, I just love the effect. Kind of almost gives it that waterfall effect, the effect of those ripple tiles. Shower head, body misters. Your controls are off to the side, so you can control them from the side and not be under it. You've got two niches. You have that kind of pebble effect tile with a dark route. A shower floor. And they did the back of the niches to match. And this is an extra deep. Done with a niche, done to a two by six. You've got plenty of room for shampoo and whatnot. But it's behind, so it hides all that business from the front. Take a look at that shower, and you've got a couple, two lamps up there with, they're the, oh, recessed can lights with the fans built into it, so it has an exhaust fan built in there. And you have this kind of high up transom window. So you can see the sky and the greenery, but it's high enough up where you don't lose any privacy. Now the master closet, you've got an entrance for him and an entrance for her or vice versa. Some reason it always seems like this seems to be her side, but then with melamine shelves and closet organizers in here. They got adjustable shelves and adjustable bars, all that, and a nice window out front. And when you're out here and you have your own kind of private mini estate out in the woods, you don't have to worry about any neighbors. Your closet. And we just ran a carpet. Carpeted closet. But that is a great big master closet. You got two big LED lights there for plenty of natural light. So let's take one more look at this. There's your shower from the other side. That is, we call this car wash style shower in that you can enter from one side, go through the other. Oh, the commode room right here. This is the one that caused us some issues. We didn't get a crack in the bowl. We couldn't quite figure out what it was. We got it all fixed. And one last but not least, I did not show you the office. This is the office, which comes right off the foyer. You still get a view of the whole kitchen and everything from there. But you come off the foyer here. This is your office. We've got double kind of French doors, so you can leave it open or you can close it to close it off. You can leave it open. Get more of that open concept, and that adds to the open. This is that transom window that is actually on the inside. Got a light fixture. Vintage airline propeller light fixture with the LED light and it shows out the front and you can see the columns and whatnot Yeah, the front yard did get some hay blown away, but hopefully there's enough seeds germinating in there On a pedestal columns on a pedestal. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the tour of the Trinity plan 
Um, we have a couple other videos. We built this home three times and it all is a little bit different and customized. If you have any questions, please contact us at the numbers below. And please feel free to hit the like or subscribe button because we've got a lot more content where this came from.